up, everybody? It's your girl, Kamaya Rose. And who? It's G. And we're back, I like we. <laughs> we back like we never. All right, left. all right, cut. Five, four, three, two, one. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Kamaya Rose. And who? It's G. And we're back. Like we never motherfucking last. Baby girl, bring your body closer. Come next to me, let me see you wind that. Go slow, don't go faster. Take it down to the floor, let me see you wind that. Groovy boy, gonna bring your body closer. Come next to me, let me put it on ya. I'ma go slow, if you're gonna watch me all the way down till you can feel me. Jamaican girl. Come and wine for me, Liberian girl. Come and wine for me, Ethiopian girl. Come and wine for me, Encore. American girl. Come and wine for me. Take your body to the floor. Let me see how you wind dirty. Move your body, go slow, baby girl. Break it down for me. All right, you guys, so today we are, I know it's been a minute, don't be upset with us, but we're back and we're going to do a mukbang, and today we're eating from Zasty's. I have I a eating. salad. Bobby, I'm, I'm hungry. <laughs> I ate all day, okay? Show them what you got. <laughs> oh, check. Wings and things, wings and things. Wings she got some things. wings, some oh. fries. Where is the where is the camera at? So I don't know which way to look. Oh, right there. Okay, cool. No, that's cool. cool. Camera. No, no we good. good. What's that? What's that? No, cause now I just did that. So we lost that. Cause I said we lost that. So we lost that. We not starting with fuck it. No. It's been a minute, okay, guys. And we a little rushed, <clears> so y'all gonna have to bear with us, okay? But yeah, mug bang today. Um. We'll so we got a about. few we got a few different things that we want to talk about. Our fi our first topic is going to be on relationships. Like yes. have you ever been in a relationship where you just like don't even know what to do? Like you at the point where you just like, I really don't even know. That's how mm -hmm. I'm feeling now. Like mm -hmm. I was telling best friend over here, like, so I'm dating a well, I'm in a complicated situation <laughs> with a person. And today was the day that my father, you know, well, tomorrow is the day that my father was killed. So we had like a little celebration in the purse. She didn't show up. So to me, I felt like, you know, I wasn't hurt because I'm on this new spiritual journey. So I've been trying to just focus on myself and, you know, get back to the true person that I know that I am. But I feel like it still kind of hurt my feelings because I felt like we were starting off in like this new place. And mm -hmm. for her not to show up. 2020 is supposed to be good. Yeah. Like, we went on a day. We decided we was going to start a new. And my thing is, like, I don't like to chase nobody. So, if you don't want it, just tell me you don't want it. Like, I'm not about to sit around and be chasing you, like, and putting all this time into it. Mm -hmm. And you don't want it. Mm -hmm. So, it's but then, like, you, know, too, you know, sometimes it'd be like people be in a funk, you know. And, and maybe she just thought that. If she brought that vibe, good God. <laughs> Don't you chill. <laughs> Time to watch him for real. But now, nah, maybe she just thought she didn't want to bring that negative, low energy vibe around. And it's already supposed to be like a yeah. celebration. So it yeah. could have just been like, she just going to stand off and miss this event and then come back, you know, to the table when she in a better space. And that's true. And that's what I told myself because I was like, I'm not even going to get upset about the situation because I know she's been going through some stuff. Right. And I'm not even going to assume like, you know, maybe it was just, you know, some people just go through certain things that they feel like they need to take time away from everybody. Mm -hmm. And I get that. That's definitely I definitely understand that. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm not even getting... I mean, I feel so happy because it did today meant a lot to me, and I wish you would have came. But I'm not upset like the old me. I would have been upset, right? Yeah. <laughs> Can I? But now I'm not even upset because I'm like I'm not even gonna assume. I'm just gonna understand mm -hmm. the situation that she's going through. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But we all need like a breather, you know? Yeah. Like a moment to ourselves. You know that is healthy. Like just to have a, a single moment to ourselves to reflect and, and and to actually just. Come to ourselves, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you but know. question. Okay. So, okay. So, how do you handle somebody who... So, I'm used to being in relationships where it's like... 
no matter what we going through, the person always want to talk to me, right? Mm -hmm. They always want to be in my space. Like, what the fuck kind of chicken is this? <laughs> bro, bro. Yeah, Papa chicken. Look, look at this. Yo, look at this. What kind of fucking chicken is this? Is it a wing or is it a drum? It's steroids. Steroids. And that's why I don't eat meat. <laughs> Hey, I might be on that on that wave too. Cause like, what the fuck is this? Girl, you what know you ain't eat no salad. I love salads. You gonna eat salad every day? Nope. Exactly. So you can <laughs> eat your steroid chicken. <laughs> but anyway, but okay. So my question is, how do you? And y'all can comment down below how y'all feel. But how do you handle somebody if you're used to like people always being in your like in your face, giving mm -hmm. you attention, mm -hmm. even if they're having a bad time, like. They lean on you. They talk to you. How do you, like, deal with somebody who's not like that? Like, somebody who's, like, if they're going through something, they even shut you out. The person that is supposed to be there for you. Mm -hmm. Like, that's what I'm struggling with deal with. Because it's mm -hmm. like, I want to be there for you so much. But how can I be there for you if you're not letting me in? Okay. That is, a, that is an excellent question. Because it is. I am that type of person. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm the exact person that you're speaking on. Mm -hmm. And it's just like... For us in that situation, you just got to kind of like, you got to kind of study. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you got to know. But I know you can study, but it's still like, if you're not used to that, how do you handle it if it's new to you? If it's new, I mean, you just got to you gotta adjust to it. You know what I'm saying? You got to kind of like shift you know, the thinking. And especially if you want to be with the person. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, if you really wholeheartedly want to be with this person, you want to mm -hmm. make it work. Mm -hmm. You just got to accept the fact that that's how... That's how they operate. And see, but that's the thing. I guess I'm trying to fix, because it's like, I accept that's who they are. Like, mm -hmm. we, it's been complicated for like three years now. And I have accepted that's who they are. Mm -hmm. But how do I be strong in the situation and learn to, un like, I don't know how to explain it. But it's like, I get, I already know that's who she is, mm -hmm. right? But how do I go about, like, if I'm used to something and I finally, and I get something that I'm not used to, mm -hmm. but I, I learned to understand that person because I've been with that person for so long. So mm -hmm. I know that's who they are, but it's still, there's still, it still bothers me because it's like, who says they, if you say you love somebody, mm -hmm. how do you go days without talking to them? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't get that. That's like, tough. I just don't get that. That's tough. I do you go even, days? No, I can't. Like, exactly. Even, even with my situation, you know, me and, me and my lady, we just, you know, broke up, but we, you know what I'm saying? That mm -hmm. when, when I could not talk to her for a whole week, mm -hmm. like I'm trying to be tough and, 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 but at the same time, I'm like, this shit hurts, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, cause it'd be times to where something would happen and I'd be like, want to pick up the phone. Like, let me call Bay real quick. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, we not on, we not on speaking terms, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Or whatever the case is. Mm -hmm. but, so that's what I'm saying. That's the hard part for me is because mm -hmm. I'm not used to that. Like, usually if I've dated somebody or I've been, and I haven't been in that many relationships because I don't do relationships like that. Like, mm -hmm. not at all. Mm -hmm. You got to be spectacular for me to date you. But anyways, but if I've been in relationships or dated people who, no matter, they never miss a beat. Like, it might be like one day that they might not talk to me, mm -hmm. but then they'll text me and be like, you know what, sorry, I had a long day. They will explain why they didn't text me. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I don't like clingy people, but... I feel like texting doesn't have nothing to do with clinky. It's at least letting me know that right, you're I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Like, keeping in contact with me. So, I don't understand how a person can say they love you, but then can are capable of going days without texting you or even just saying, like, are you okay? I could have died. You would have never known. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just stuff like that. Like, so that's what my question is. How do you, how do you, like not really because i i learned that's who that person is but how do you go about dealing with it i guess is the question like i don't know, I don't know. because i'm a, I'm a virgo so i like to be with myself but i still can text my significant if, especially if i really care but i can still text my significant other other and be like, what's course. up like how are you today you know yeah it's just it's just a matter of okay y'all on the uh, y'all on y'all you know your thing or whatever but mm -hmm. Is it somebody else on the line, mm -hmm. or is it like she just really like in her in her her feelings or in her bag or whatever? Yeah, it's just it's just a waiting game you gotta play, you know. And I know Let's everybody's raised at. differently too, so you know some people are raised a certain way, mm -hmm. and that they might not think that that's an issue, right? 
I have to learn that too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And people like me, to me, that's an issue. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you don't text You gotta me, be verbal about that shit too, though. But yeah. what if you're verbal, but the person still doesn't... Change it? it? Oh, change the purpose. <laughs> there it is, people. Change the purpose. Change the purpose. <laughs> Nah. No shade intended. No shade, because I ain't going to change the person right now. <laughs> Don't do it. Because <laughs> you, you, you love her. I do. I do genuinely love her. and But I just have to figure out how to adapt to stuff that I'm not used to. This is the first situation I've been in that has been difficult for me. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. And I will admit that I would say that maybe I got used to people catering to me so mm -hmm. much. That I'm not used to somebody who's just like, I'm but not going to cater to you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know the one person that set the tone and you got to. And that's, and that's the thing is because like, you know, a lot of people always be like, get on me about my ex. Mm -hmm. But I always give props to my ex because she taught me so much. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And because of that, I learned that going on in certain relationships, what to expect and what not to mm -hmm. settle with. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. for me, it's like I set my standards higher because I'm like. If this love type of love exists, nobody can tell me it doesn't exist. Right, yeah. You know what I'm saying? If somebody can give me the world, make me feel like a queen, take yeah. me from a bad stage that I was in and make me feel like phenomenal. Yeah. Like nobody can tell me. When people say, oh, I can't do this. No, you choose not to do yeah. it. But you are very capable of doing it. You're very yeah. capable of loving somebody. You just choose not to. Yeah. Love and a lot of times people don't want to change because they don't want to change who they are. Mm -hmm. But my thing is, if you want a healthy, long-lasting relationship, you got to learn how to change your mm -hmm. ways and actually listen to your partner. Yeah. If somebody is telling you how to love them or if they're telling you what what's wrong or what's the issue, you got to listen to it. That's Take true. heed. You might be upset at the time, but you need to actually listen to what they're saying. That's true. And a lot of people don't want to do that. Yeah, that's true. Well, for y'all folks out there that's dealing with somebody who's complicated like me, if you're, sh I'm a strong person, so I hold on and wish for the best. But for some people, I would say if the situation is toxic, I would leave. But if the situation is worth fighting for and is not toxic, I would say fight for it until you feel like you're not capable of fighting anymore. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this business that you got, honey. Mm -hmm. Let's talk mm now. -hmm. Let's get these credits up because, baby, boy, I want a house. <laughs> goddamn. We're going to get. Mm. I didn't mean to say goddamn. But <laughs> 2020, I'm pushing the agenda. We all got to get our credit together. Get our credit together so we can get that nice house. We can get that car we want. You know what I'm saying? We want a business. We want to establish a business. We want to go, you know what I'm saying? Make our biz, our, our, our personal guarantor for our business. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we can have more money. Establish, you know, generational wealth That's for true. our people, you know? For real. So, us black folks, we got to and we, we got to support each other. We got to mm -hmm. put our minds together and build businesses because I'm trying to tell you, working nine to five ain't mm -hmm. it, honey. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people be thinking like, they have an idea in their head, but they be feeling like they need these nine to five. If you step out on faith, step out I'm on telling faith. you, you're guaranteed the best. Like, if you have that determination, that passion, I would say any dream that you have in your head right now, just step out, do yeah. it, like, give it to God. Because Let I'm telling tell you, me. when you give it to God, if your dreams don't scare you, you ain't dreaming big enough. That's a fact. That's For real. Fact. But tell them about your business. Tell them how they can, like, get in contact. Okay. So, um... This is gonna edit this out. <laughs> this <food. laughs> oh look, hold on, y'all. She's trying to enjoy her food a little bit. <clears throat> yeah. Um, While I'm over here eating a I will prepare good old salad on the business trip. She eating some mm. wings. Mm -hmm. Steroid mm -hmm. wings. No, uh, uh, uh. Don't be judging me. Don't be judging me. Hey, I used to eat meat too. Shit, I ain't judging. Mm -hmm. I used to eat all them steroid meat. Yeah. Like, One day I'm gonna stop eating it though. Mm. When I start back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But yeah. So, so what you, you know, got going on, man? Let the people know what you got going I'm on. I'm trying to 2020. stay 2020. Mm -hmm. 2020. I'm trying to, if my fans 
some beautiful music. Because everybody, you know, I try to do the Afro beat. And all my fans is like, where's the emotional come on road? <laughs> y'all want to cry all day? Like, God, I'm trying to give y'all some bad. up beat. Nah, but I understand, though, because, you know, people can connect to the emotional side of people. Mm -hmm. Child, let me tell you something. No matter how old Keisha Cole, nobody, Keisha Cole ain't really that relevant nowadays. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, people gonna play her music. Of course. That no, I should have cheated. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> if you going through anything, you know you could pop in some dong on Keisha Cole. Keisha Cole so that's what I'm saying. People yeah. relate to stuff like that. So that good R and B for real. So that I get, I get why my fans want me to bring that, and I got it coming, y'all. It's been 2019 mm -hmm. was so mm -hmm. up and down. I have a lot of emotions coming to y'all. You know, school just been occupying my time, but I'm definitely going to deliver some dope music for you guys. But make sure to check out my single, Wine For Me, on YouTube. Kamaya down. Rose, Fitches and Decant. Definitely. Okay. It's, yes. We want viral, honey. Come and wine for me. Hey, hey. Come on. Hey, come and wine for me. Hey. What's the next one? Okay, you know what? At this point, <laughs> but at least she purchased the song, so we're gonna let it slide. Like, we're gonna let it slide there. But tell, tell them what you can, so they can get some get that credit oh, up. Because I need sorry. somebody with great credit. So listen, if y'all really interested in serious inquiries only, don't come to me asking me about no questions or none of that. You know what I'm saying? Um, no, on serious note though, um, you can um, DM me and we can set up a consultation. To see what's all on your credit, DM me at um, G4 underscore greatness, and um, you know I, I, I'm gonna help you out. 2020, we that de we definitely gotta do better. Definitely mm -hmm. gotta do better with our credit, and you know what I'm saying. Create we gotta get our minds and spirit right. Yes, for real, because we're not playing. You gotta be right fully, mentally, spiritually, mm -hmm. to succeed. But, you know how I look like with these damn things, man. Like, what? What's that? Um, what's that rapper that killed uh, killed his friends? He in jail now. Mm, race murder? No, no, no. no, no Some mm. murder just killed. Why something Nelly or something like that? Oh, mm, yeah. Sure. I was murder on my mind. Okay, never mind. Well, I was really about to say why and Lucci. I don't know. <laughs> Got dressed. <laughs> you know, got dressed. I don't know. I just heard why and something. I said, "Oh, it's okay." Why if it lose you? Yeah, the nigga killed his. He killed his um his stepfather. No. Oh shit. Well, no. That's that's Ray Schremer. No, not Ray Schremer. No, that's yeah. the name of the group. The their brother killed the their brother, stepfather. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. No, I'm talking about. Fuck it. I don't know. I don't even know the little nigga name. <laughs> Melly, Mello, Melly. I feel like I know who you're talking about, but I don't, I don't know yeah. who you killed, though. But I know who you're talking about. But, all right, you guys. Um, I know it's been long. I apologize. Yeah. Also, I know a lot of people have been wondering, like, when my perfume line is coming out. You know, and I know that I'm pissed right now because, mm -hmm. you know, I got to get some stuff figured out. Mm -hmm. But it is coming out soon. And perfume line is actually really limited. It's actually I'm actually doing a body oil line. But I'll have, like, 10 bottles of perfume that's going to be limited. So you better get it as you can. It's a limited edition? It's a limited edition, baby. Okay. Baby girl, yes. Because I really want to do a body oil line because I feel like I've always enjoyed body oil growing up. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. I feel like the, the smell lasts longer. Mm -hmm. I feel like... I don't know. It's just something about body oil which is just more relaxing, mm -hmm. you know? So, it's actually more of a body oil line. But I am working on it, and it's coming out soon. And when it comes out, I'm definitely going to let you guys know so y'all can purchase and support. So, I do appreciate everybody who has been concerned and asking me about it. And, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, too. I, I forgot to plug me in, too, with this business funding. If you have any businesses already established... And you don't have um, any business um, credit, I can help you on that too. As far as like, you know, getting your business uh, report structured and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah, DM me about, you know, business funding, business structure, personal, you know, personal credit, um, personal structure and credit, um, and, you know, personal funding. Once you get your personal credit together, it is endless what you can do. Mm -hmm. Promise you that. So, 
um, you know, serious inquiries only, and that's it for the credit. And I think this is it for this video, right? Erger? Oh, I was okay. I shouldn't have did that. We out of here. <laughs> All right, we out of here. Thank you guys for supporting. We love you guys. All right.